now the latest on July 4th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Hurricane Barbara remains the main feature on this July the 4th. Uh, tropical Storm Mun is also active, just about to make landfall in Vietnam in the Eastern Hemisphere. 31 storms have formed so far in the world this year. Uh, it's day 34 of the Atlantic hurricane season and still we're looking at a blank canvas, no activity since Andrea in May. Uh, day 51 in the Eastern Pacific and Barbara is still there as a Category 4 continuing to move out to sea. Mun is about to make landfall in Vietnam, moving off towards the northwest. Uh, still, some uh, interesting debate as to whether that is a tropical cyclone or not. And in the southern hemisphere, no systems are active whatsoever. So the main feature again is Hurricane Barbara. We're putting it at 130 mile an hour winds, 945 millibars at the latest uh, tropical weather bulletin update here. Um, and in the next few days, we expect it will continue to move towards the west-northwest. It's currently 14.5 north, 127.8 west. That's 904 miles from Clarion Island, Mexico, and just a little bit less than 2,000 miles from Hilo, Hawaii. Over the next few days, we expect significant weakening to occur, and then it will turn more towards the west, and then as it passes 140 degrees west there, the thicker line, it weakens further to a depression and then there's Hawaii which will get the remnants of Barbara most likely in all likelihood so wind shear is remaining uh, is increasing right now 15 knots maybe a little bit higher than that even in the latest imagery here you can see on that visible by the way that Barbara is still looking very very good indeed um, to an untrained eye on the visible uh, the infrared has a bit of another story though uh, with significant weakening Wind shear on the increase much higher than yesterday, so that will really put a dent in it. In the North Atlantic, looks like this right now. Um, you can see not too much going on once again. A little tropical wave there approaching the Windward Islands. Um, lots of little uh, disturbances down there in the tropical zone as well. This is very normal at this time of year, but it is uh, flashing up a little bit more. The Gulf of Mexico over the water looking pretty quiet, but lots of thunderstorms occurring over Texas and Florida. Barbara in the Eastern Pacific, you can see its influence, which is actually quite a large influence uh, from Barbara. You can see the tail towards the south there extending right towards the equator. Um, and you can see there it is in relation to where Hawaii is. Still a lot of distance to go and a lot of weakening on the way. Barbara shouldn't be a huge threat to Hawaii. The Western Pacific, open waters look like this. A few little disturbances here and there, but nothing that we can really note uh, as anything that has a chance of development anytime soon. Mun is way over on the left-hand side over the Gulf of Tonkin, uh, and that's about to move inland over Vietnam, regardless of whether we think it's a tropical storm or not. In the Australia South Pacific region, you can see here, uh, not too much going on at all once again. Some thunderstorms blowing up there to the north of the Samoan Islands. The Indian Ocean at, uh, view actually has a better look of Mun on the right hand side there. A lot of convection over Vietnam and over into Laos as well at this time, and that could be delivering some local or flash flooding. Sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific are very warm, 29 or even 30 degrees Celsius along the coast of large parts of Mexico. Where Barbara is right now, the temperatures are starting to decline, 26 or 27, and that will continue to fall and then it will really run out of energy. The North Indian Ocean there, uh, looking pretty warm still, 28 degrees plus quite easily. The South China Sea, extremely warm, 30 degrees plus, where Mun is certainly fueling those massive convective cloud tops and in the Philippine Sea there 30 degrees plus not over the equator in the equatorial regions but further north in that fully tropical zone. Tropical Storm Mun looks like this uh, another close-up of this storm and you can see it there certainly not devoid of convection uh, the real question about this system is whether it actually had a circulation um, or not close circulation which is really the prerequisite for tropical cyclone formation. This is a different story though, Major Hurricane Barbara still looks very good on the visible imagery but we uh, put it in with the hybrid infrared there. You can see how the cloud tops are struggling a lot more than they were yesterday, a lot less black areas which are really indicative of category 4 plus 
uh, intensity is about to lose that status, I should think. So we put Barbara as a Category 5 yesterday uh, in the early hours of the morning UTC. But there is the list of names. The next name in the Atlantic is Barry. Cosme is next in the Eastern Pacific. And Akoni is next up in the Central Pacific. Danas follows Mun in the Western Pacific. Who knows when? In the North Indian Ocean, we'll be looking out for Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with the latest information. You can also find our YouTube page, search Force 13. If you're not there already, please subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find our Facebook and Twitter pages if you'd like to get in touch on there or show your support through those. Search Force 13, all in text. That's all for now. We'll be back again tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.